Well, hello, thank you for clicking in. Today, we are gonna go thrifting together. We are going to look for what I call the Fab Faux. It's a great way to start if you wanna know how to look for and find vintage jewelry because you're a collector or because you're a reseller or maybe you're a little bit of both. So today, we're gonna head into this antique mall and I'm gonna show you how I look for Monet, Trefari, Coro, and Napier. The Fab Faux, the ones defined. You can find anything from 1940s Trefari book pieces that are worth thousands right up to fabulous Monet from the 70s and the 80s. And it's very rewarding when you can put in your mind what it is you're looking for. A great way to learn how to search for vintage jewelry and accessories to collect or to sell is to think about what it is you're looking for first. Say to yourself, I'm looking for rhinestones or I'm looking for 1960s or I'm looking for 1980s, you know, and that way, if you keep that in your mind when you're scanning, you'll see what it is instead of just trying to absorb everything. So today, in my mind, we're going for the Fab Faux, some of my favorites, the Fab Faux 4, or the Fab 4 Faux, <laughs> Coro, Monet, Trafari, Napier. And I encourage you to try it in your local thrift. So let's go thrifting, let's see what I can find, and I'm sharing my process with you. So many shops. This is the first room. I love this. That is amazing. And we're going to go into where the jewelry is. And we are looking for vintage jewelry to collect or resell. And I've already looked. Um, I've done a Google image search of the old advertising to get inspired or reminded or informed. You know, if you're new, it's a great way to start. So here is the jewelry room. And oh, see, already I'm, already I'm distracted. I like this so much. This little mid-century brass. That is adorable. Oh, it's a pin. Okay, so that was not on today's list, but but we'll get that. I love them. Also, a good tip is you can do what I did for the thumbnail of this video. Instead of trying to familiarize yourself piece by piece or using Google Lens piece by piece as you find things, try Googling the advertising for the companies themselves. For the sake of this exercise, I challenge you all to Google Trefari jewelry ads and then click images or Monet jewelry ads and then click images. And when you do that, you can see the advertising of the entire company throughout the course of their history. And you can really get a feel for what their construction was, what their style was, the phases that they went through design wise, and it won't replace handling things. Handling things is best. The more you handle things, the better you will do. The better you will get, the more familiar you will be. But for the sake of this exercise, I challenge you all to Google the advertising first and then going out and seeing what you can find. Quick scan. Also looks interesting for the price. Um, you have to be open to, to, you know, finding things if the price is right. That's very pretty. Um, this to me, like this, oh, it's a lipstick case. Okay. There's some markers right here. Any number of these things could be good, but I'm not in the mood for rhinestone right now. I'm looking for 
gold tone or silver tone or statement metal. This is far out. Look at this. Desert Scorpion, 2004. I like this. Okay, what's in here? Let's have a look. This looks like something. Oh, that's pretty fabulous. And that says, Boucher, $30, wow. These look like Nina Rishi. Have a closer look at that. Bracelets here. I took it off the card and it actually says like Georgie U or it doesn't quite say gorgeous. Um, I thought that was her description, but she thought that's what it was marked. Anyway, they're nice, but they're a bit heavy, so I'm gonna pass on these for 20. I pulled this one. I thought it could be interesting, perhaps an old signed coro from the width of it definitely is of the era it's not signed and um for the condition i think i can do better here that's lovely it's 13 dollars. i have not seen anything like this before it's sort of an art piece that's resin that's nice we'll put that back for now okay so this looks great i wanted to check it for marks it just says uh it doesn't say anything it just says 60s um it looked to me like it was maybe like a lucite or a jelly belly kind of thing from coro but it's not signed um, I do like the color. I think it's interesting, but I'm going to pass on it today. I like these. Those are 80s. Those are pretty cool. Ooh, these look good. What does this say? This looks like it could be... Oh no details. We're going to have to look at that up close. Okay, so I just pulled it off the mesh, and right away I can see that is a Monet Tension Clip, which are very comfortable. It's probably marked in there somewhere. There it is. That says Monet. And these are great. They're in wonderful condition. Let's see how much they are. Okay, so that's $10. So I think this is great. Yep, I just checked the other one. The condition is great, and we are going to pick these up for sure. Now, this is what was directly behind me when I was looking at these earrings, and I like the way this looks. I don't know what it is, but I like that. I like, oh no, I don't like that. But then I just, my eyes before I wanted to make sure I got it on camera. This, this looks like a set of exactly what we're looking for today. We'll see what the price point is like. This is a nice one. This is two-tone. Oh, look, it has the tassel. Look, it has the tassel um, hanger thing. What is this? It says Coro Set Bracelet Necklace, $19. I love this. This is a score with the thicker bracelet. We'll check it for condition. And if it checks out, this is a pickup for sure. Okay, now going back to this area. 
I like the yellow. I think the yellow is pretty rare. The yellow uh, moon glow, that's so great. I don't need it. And then we have so much more. There's a whole other room we're gonna get to here, through here, that's a different vendor. And I really, oh, what is this? Hello. Hello, friend, look. Oh my goodness, look at that. Hello, friend. Look at that. We have to take a look at that. It's this large piece back here. So many keys. All right. Oh, and that green bracelet looks good, too. Oh, I like this case. That looks good, that big one. Look at all the rings. Oh, and that wide one over there. Take your time. I'm just soaking it all in. Kristen Dior. That's 35. Oh, and then look at all these rings. See, now this isn't what I was supposed to be looking for today, but they look too good not to look at. <laughs> I'm going to let you get in there. Okay, which one? The one in the very back. Oh, yeah, that's a nice piece. That looks really great. Very 70s. Yes, nice solid piece. The back of your head is in the video. Is that okay? I can oh, edit I'm you okay. up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I can, I'm just asking no, if you no, want. I you're can. fine. <laughs> I'll get that. Okay. Yeah, that's why I wanted you I to do know. it. That is wonderful. It has, um, it has like some stones in the middle of it. Oh, wow. That's actually nice. What's yeah. the info on it? Yeah, I hope she wrote it on to the city. It could just be unsigned. No, it's not. No. What is it? How much is it? It says uh, 50. Okay. I love this. Let's put that in the pile. Yes, please. The bracelet. Okay. That looks like one of the wider ones that I was looking for earlier. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's got like, is that a floral in there? I've never it does seen look like one that. like that. Yeah, it does look like that. And this says Lucite Flower Cab Bracelet Vintage 45. Okay, not what I'm looking for today. I want to stick on task. I had a challenge to myself to do signed pieces. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, I mean, like this ring is just, it's just so beautiful that I can't not look at it. It's just calling to me. Don't you think that's beautiful? Oh, it's an alpaca. Oh, for Pete's sake. How much is this? I just, I'm, okay, 25. Yeah, I just got a um, a bunch of these. Oh, did you? Uh, mine are a little larger, but that's funny. It looked like amber and sterling. Yes, it does. Um, I'm so excited about this piece. I really love it. Um, you like it too? Yeah, it looks good yeah. on you. That looks good on you. <laughs> you know, like that's the problem. When I see something, oh, that does look nice. <laughs> look, everyone, this says Joseph Mazer bracelet 65. I think that that is a score. Let's check it for condition. Remember, condition, condition, condition is everything. A nice close look. I love the color. It's that Peking glass color that Mazer used. This looks good. Okay, so this is it. This is where it's signed right here. See it? This is fabulous. This is a definite yes. I love this. Okay, I thought I was done with this case, and then I saw this. Look, it's like a queen cat. It doesn't look particularly vintage, but look. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cat wearing a crown. That's fabulous, cat pin. All right, maybe we'll come back for that another day. Let's just do a quick scan here because I'm seeing more, um, more pieces of interest. What does that say? That's, that could be good. These are fun. Um, I like these, these are sterling and lapis. Not in today's challenge. And then this, let's just have a look because it does look like one of the things we are on the hunt for today. Okay, so even though this is of the era, it's definitely 1950s. It's called Confetti Lucite. I love the width of it, but it's not what the challenge is today. So this time I'm going to put it back. And that, look at those. Those definitely look like our target. 
I love them together as a group. I would definitely keep these together. This one has a little bit of a condition issue. And let's see what it says. If you if if you were here and you had Googled, you would know. Okay, so this says Vintage Sterling. This definitely looks like Old Coro to me. We'll check it for a signature. And then this one says, 1940s sterling oh this is a beautiful one we'll check that as well oh it, there it is okay let's have a look okay so here's the back of them they both just say sterling they're definitely of the era and um they're a great price they're really really good i think there's even money in that but i'm going to pass them today because i want to see how i do on my challenge see like that Now we're going to head into the next room and I immediately am drawn to this. Ooh, this is so fun. What does this say? It says, oh, Chico's belt. There you go. It says Chiro's. It's Chico's. That's nice. I would definitely wear that as a necklace. I love this color. Oh, that's plastic. I thought it was crystal. Okay, entering a whole other place with a whole other dealer. I like the butterfly. I like the cameo. The cameo is beautiful. We're gonna do a visit here. We're gonna do a shop along here, alive from this place, um, pre-holiday. It'll be really fun. The dragonfly is great. Um, and I can shop for you and then send it to you if you are a friend of the channel already and I have your shipping information. I do that sometimes. We do like field trips. We can't leave without looking at the better things by the counter. This is the higher end. Beautiful. This could be great when we do our, our field trip. Oh, look at all of this. Look at all of that. Look at the wide woven bangle. That's amazing. Oh, look up there with the foil opal glass and the sterling. That's so awesome. I also really like the malachite rings in there. There's some turquoise and look, look double turquoise. See that? Some Native American. Okay, this. Wait, where's my finger? There. This, this we have to look at. That looks like a faux pearl and faux turquoise and silver. I don't know what it is. Maybe a pendant. We must look at it. It's right next to the um, fairy lady. We'll look at both of those. Okay, so they're pretty easy to spot. There's like all of these ring trays and then there's two things that are kind of in between that aren't rings. One is a fairy and one is like a shell pearl or a faux pearl. Yeah. Get up. Oh. This is great. This is like faux Victorian or something, you know? It's got the crystals. What does it say? Oh, it's Florenza. Oh my gosh, it's $25. We are so getting this. This is beautiful. We'll check it for condition first. I love what I do. Okay, I checked it for condition and it's great. We're going to get this one for sure. And now I'd like to look at the fairy. She's sterling, yeah. Oh, and there's a beautiful, no, I don't need that right now. That looks golden diamond. <laughs> don't look at the golden diamond, Dawn. Oh, she's lovely. She's not incredibly uncommon. Oh, she's 40. She is well done. She's vintage, she's sterling. Yeah, I do like her. They're not, exceedingly rare, you know what I mean? But she's a nice one. I'm gonna say no to her. I'm gonna okay. stick to task. Okay, so a little bit of a counter haul. We'll just go through it right now. We have the uh, Joseph Mazer for 65. We have this set. This is absolutely what we came for. It's this 
with this over here. Um, it's a great, great set um, for a collector or a reseller, and it has the rare tassel hanging bobby chain thing. And then the I love him. Looks Italian, right? It's a pin, but it also stands. So I'm a sucker for that. Then we have the Florenza. Oh, this isn't mine. Someone stuck one in there. The Someone ears? else's. No, no, this 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 cute thing. Oh, it came with this, that's why. Oh, it was oh it must have yeah. gotten caught up and I didn't yeah. even notice. Okay, so okay, and we're gonna take these. These are the old Monet's. I think those are harder to find. And then this amazing, fabulous thing is the score of the day. Love, love, love. Well, that was so fun. I really love what I got. Subscribe right now if you haven't already to stay tuned because those pieces will be coming up in an auction soon. Or if you're a reseller and you just want to keep track of the hammer price and what they went for, um, those will be coming up soon. And... Thanks for watching. Uh, click here or here. Click here or here for more. And I'll see you in the next one.